アカデミー賞授賞式の会場としても有名なここドロシー・チャンドラー・パビリオンで今映像と音楽から生まれる全く新しいフィルムハーモニックのワールドプレミアが行われようとしている。華やかに一大ライブパフォーマンスは成功を収めたそしてこの新しい芸術こそさまざまな分野のトップアーティストたちのコラボレーションによって作られたプロジェクト作品「ワン・サウザンド・ワン・ナイツ・コラボレーション」とはどのようなものなのかその物語が幕を開ける。はい。And when the end finally came, I was kind of very much relieved. Very good, just very proud. Thank you very much, thank you. And I kind of gratefully, you know,、uh, appreciate、uh, those kind of、uh, cooperation from LA Harmonic and especially under the leadership or、uh, the, the leadership taken by Mr. Isafeka Solomon and the people of LA Harmonic. And I thank you very much for their you know,、uh, great leadership to make this event visible. として描いていた絵なんですけどもそれが、えー、動くということでじゃあこれは一体どうなるんだろうっていうまずそれが、あのー、一番の興味でありましてそれに、あのー、生のね音楽が流れるというか演奏されたところでそういうコラボレーションになるっていうのはそれはやっぱりすごく、えーうん、エキサイティングというか。Uh, one of the things that attracted to me to once、uh, they took on that notion was to actually come in and work with all these different mediums, the different people involved.、Uh, they opened their minds, luckily, to be able to go and work with all these different artists that are spread pretty well across the globe. Coming up with creative ideas to make the story flow better and to, to bring out as much emotion as possible in the piece so that.、Uh, This piece is not going to be just beautiful pictures, but it has actual emotional value that goes with the music.、Uh, I think you know,、uh, this event itself will be very much interesting to the audiences, and at the same time, it's kind of inspiring their imagination. Well, the attraction is I can write whatever I wish to write. I, I am writing something. That's inspiring to me, that is very, on a very deep visceral level, interesting, artistically challenging, and exciting to me. The subject matter is, is mythological, and, and the music sort of gently follows the, the curve or, or, or the outline of the story and, and gives the kind of flexibility and, and elasticity that、uh, we need in a sort of concert situation.
ストーリーが練り上げられアラビアンナイトを題材にした大人の幻想美の世界動きやタッチをチェックするペンシルテストが行われた監督のマイク・スミスや作曲家デビッド・ニューマンらが集まり制作ミーティングが行われた映像部門音楽部門すべてが同時進行で作られているそれぞれ多忙なスケジュールを縫いながらコラボレーションを高めていく表現方法効果情感さまざまにアイデアを出し合っていく新しい芸術に挑むプロジェクトについて尋ねたコラボレーションっていうんですかねそれが、えー、一番の見どころだと思いますで今回のプロジェクトというのはあのそういう意味では、えー、僕が今最もあの好きな自分で描いていて楽しい絵が動くということでそれは僕にとってはあの長年の夢というか一枚の絵が動いてで物語があってそこに音楽がね、えー、つくというか音楽が流れているということは僕が知る限りではあのないと思うんですよね。もっと進めば出てくると思うんですけどもそれの何かすごいこう先駆けになるようなそんな気がしますね。Uh, it, there's, there's you you visually, youエサペッカ・サロネンはこの作品の音楽を指揮するにあたり物語に沿って
音楽が優しく流れていくことを考えていた。Keeping the schedule or to、uh, have、uh, various persons involved in at the right places. But this has been overcome. So, you know, production sites are、uh, people from the United States, in England, in Canada, and the people from Japan. They have been involved in. In that sense, it's kind of very international. ワンサウザンドワンナイツでは水彩手法や最新のコンピューターグラフィックス切り絵を利用するカットアウト手法など実に多彩なアニメーション技法が駆使されている<音楽>ここでは水彩による手法でアニメーションの制作が進められている。One of the styles that we've been trying, or, or sorry, I'll start again. One of the styles we used in this was、um, uh, a traditional animation, just simple pencil drawing, and, and at varying degrees, laying in watercolor. And、uh, in the early stages when we did that, quite often when you get artists involved with animation, painters literally, and they start doing、uh, watercolor. Uh, they're a little uptight and rigid in terms of the drawing. They, they try and interpret something quite tight. And one of the things that interprets better in movement is when you're doing a loose brush mark, for instance, it's better that it doesn't try to match something that once it's up on the big screen,、uh, it, it would look like you're attempting something that's impossible. Whereas if you actually get more expressive and looser, And、uh, use the watermark uh, uh, to a better degree and use dry brush amongst that. Uh, even splatter paint, if you just get a little bit looser with it,、uh, you start to interpret it in a different way, and that comes across a lot better. Selga will scan the data and put it in. This is the original artwork as it's painted, and it's going to be shot and used as negative. So we bring them, scan them into the computer, invert them so that we can check and see how they're going to look when they're the opposite. Now, this. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm testing the animation. And、uh, we captured onto a computer using a video camera and、uh, just one frame at a time, although the, each、uh, piece of art is shot twice. So it ends up being a twelfth of a second long, as there are 24 frames per second for film. Animation. 
色雰囲気などがビデオテストされるそしてフィルム化されていく。What I'm doing is taking the animation from ink and paint and putting it on the camera here, registering it with the registration pins, following the animation, animator sheets, and just shooting it frame by frame onto film. アーティストたちの豊かなイメージがアニメーションとしてビジュアル化され、夢の世界を膨らませていく。自分が感じるアラビアンナイト千夜一夜のイメージってありますよねそれは本当のアラビアとは違うと思うんですけどもでもあくまでも自分が感じたアラビアンナイトの世界それを書いてみたいなと思ってでそれが一番それに一番こう現実としてこう形としてというか絵として一番こうイメージとしてできるのがあのブドウ姫とカマール王子の話だったんですよね。子供向けではなくて、えー、大人向けというかあの少しあのエロチックな感じしたかったんですよね。Two people that discover each other and they are、um, they're brought together and uh, uh, they, they don't stay together and the emotions of that moment、uh, ends up bringing them bringing a little bit more understanding in each other's plight. And、uh, I took that simple little story and just added a few、uh, additional surreal、uh, environments for that to happen in.、Um, but essentially, once you get into it,、uh, it's a, a visual and musical interpretation of the emotional values of those moments. First, the image to you know, second, you touched on this. The book of storyboard, I know, but you're the kind of. でとにかく使う使わない関係なくいろんなものを出したんですよねでそれで一応僕なりにまとめてありましてそれをさらに今度はマイク・スミスさんが、えー、それにいじってもらってそれであのどうしても最初の方のあれだとあのイメージ自分のイメージボードというか自分のイメージを全部あの出せないんで20分の中でそれをマイク・スミスさんがうまくこう意味付けというかやってくれて。で結果的にはあの映像としてはかなり、うん、セリフがなくてもね分かりやすいというか説明できるような映像になると思います。Was to reshape the board to allow、uh, a lot more、uh, depth into the characters and how they played off each other and even set up a, a slightly、um, Obscure way of looking at the story so that people can get the general flow, but within the cracks, they either get it or they don't, or they can make up their own minds. So it was an interesting little thing.、Um, but also、uh, within that, we, we structured the sequences so that they played off the different、uh, styles that we used per sequence. For instance,、uh, there was one particularly very dramatic and、uh, slightly over the top for a 20 minute film sequence where Boodoo、uh, actually wants to kill herself. Over her love. And、um, to underplay that slightly, we used cutout, which is a wonderfully theatrical thing. In the past, the first time, 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 I'm using these two to project onto these columns, these different colored columns in here. And、um, later I end up comping it all back together. I render out different separate layers for everything and composite it all back together later and make one final image like this. Hand drawn cell animation, just like you know, traditional cell animation. And we are using it,、um, uh, combining it with,、uh, with three dimensional. In a three dimensional space, I mean, using these as,、uh, as basically maps and mats for、uh, casting shadows 
or uh, I guess you could say an illusion of casting a shadow because it's, it's definitely not a real shadow. We could have, um, we could have a plate of, of, the, uh, of the cell animation in there and a light casting on it that was actually truly casting shadows onto, the, onto, the, uh, onto these columns, but it's just a lot easier and you get a better look if you just project it. Um, basically what, we've, what we're doing here is we're compositing this shot together. We get elements from Hyperion that are the 2D cell elements, which would be like this section right here and this section here. We get um, a colored cell element along with the line art itself uh, separately. And I'm putting that together to create this front element as well as creating, uh, doing the same thing with this back element. I'm taking the color and the line, comping it together. We're blurring it, brightness and contrasting it to give it a little fuzzier look so it has a dreamier quality to it. Composite with the circles. Um, yeah, that's what I would like to do. Okay. Just for キャラクターと背景との合成に問題が出ているようだ thinking that they can do something afterwards, but what I want to do is to, to comp it and show how difficult it is. I changed it. これは魔王が星に降り立つシーンなのだが、どうやら爆発したように見えてしまうという問題が出ている。That's that thing that you see there. Okay. It's really hard to see here, but everything is so blown out. I think we want to soften this a little bit more so that we'll see this softer edge longer and bigger. And in that softer edge, we'll see more atmosphere. 多分金目になるのが金子さんの作業だと思います。金子さんがどうその 3D とその 2D とのあのバランスをね、あのうまくこう、うん、やっていくかというか。で今回やっぱりあの一番の魅力はやっぱ 3D ですから、その 3D のあの動きとかね。えー、なんていうんですか、音楽とのこうタイミングというか気持ちよさ、それを何かこう映像でこう音楽を聴きながらファーっというね、すごくこうとにかく見てて聞いてて気持ちのいいそのタイミングっていうんですかね、それがやっぱり 3D の奥行きとそれからあの 2D のえきめ細かい例えばキャラクターのねカマール王子とか。武道姫のちょっとした仕草ですね。それで感情が入って、それでいてあの大きなところだと 3D でこの空間の中に見る人が自分が入っていける。音楽はもうそのオーケストラですからその前にその中に自分入ってますよね。完璧にもうその同じ空間の中で聞いてるわけですから。で今度はそれで負けないように映像をね、映像がとにかく入っていけたらいいなっていうそういうことですね。For example, when we made this character, <clears throat> I took his character sheet, 2D paintings, and I modeled this model with a piece of clay. And I showed this model to him, and he liked the general direction of where it's going. And next, I scanned this model into the computer and made the detailed model, and I colored it. I uh, painted some, you know, cheeks and stuff. So that、uh, it feels more lively than just、uh, this piece of clay.、Uh, I think the animation and the music is working great because we have lots of different actions in here. We have light up art, we have fast sequences, we have very slow, slow and sensitive sequence, and that's going to all mix and match with the 
the way the music is going. Particularly where characters are moving broadly. Right. It's really contrasting here. Uh, I think using the animation once might work because it's. さきほどの合成の問題で監督のマイクスミスと金子のりあきが話し合う。オッケー、ウィルセンディングアウトテープアラウンド、メイビファイブオフシックスナイト。オッケー、ウィルセンディングアウトテープアラウンド、メイビファ
whole idea of the Film Harmonic series is to attempt to start delineating an, uh, a new kind of form. At least that is the, that's the, uh, the, uh, the attempt. The form, I guess, would be that you have visual images here on one side and you have music on the other side and they are equal interrelating partners. So therefore, the say the analogy of the narrative of a film could be told by the music. And then wait a little longer, and then ya ya ya. It rather than it just being metric. Well, David is a very well trained composer by any standards, um, and he, he has had a thorough classical um, education. He's a violinist and pianist and conductor, and and he knows the orchestra as an instrument very well. So, so we knew that when he writes a score, it will be something that works and sounds good and, and all that. And um, and also he had an idea. He was the, the first composer who really had a specific idea. He knew he, there's something he would really like to do and this is what he would like to do and that's it. And and it was kind of right there and ready to go. So, so he became the first one in the series. And indeed, the level of sophistication he shows in his orchestra handling, for instance, is 作曲家デビッド・ニューマンが見守る中エサペッカ・サロネンはモニターで映像を見ながらのリハーサルに入った映像と音楽とのハーモニーはこのプロジェクトの大きなテーマ The time code is very confusing yeah. to, to see. Yeah, but the number you're code. almost on everything. You know, I know. You know, okay. <clears throat> yes. And then he should be. いよいよロサンゼルスフィルハーモニックのフルオーケストラの奏者が揃って本格的なリハーサルが始まった。The, the sync issue, of course, is very central in, in a project like this because we are talking about keeping an orchestra and a film together for 20 minutes plus. And when you record film music in the studio, this is never the case. Of course, you, you, you do sequences of maybe two minutes, maximum four minutes. And David very wisely has written the, the, the score in such a way that it, it really hasn't um, got many really sharp synchronization, syn synchronization points. It's more like uh, gently going from one situation to another and, and thus leaving certain amount of um, space for the performers. But there are certain moments where I have to be dead on there and, um, and um, it's not easy.本番を想定してだから例えて言えばあのバレエのような感じだと思うんですよねストーリーがちゃんとあってそれを仕草だけで表現するというそれに音楽がついてるっていうだからオペラというよりはどちらかというとバレエの方に近いと思いますのでその表現力っていうんですかねそれがすごく大事なポイントになると思います自分のイメージがあってそれがそのイメージ通りに出来上がったら
すごいだろうなっていうのがありますね。それができればあの多分皆さんもこうちゃんとこう楽しんでもらえるというかそういう意味では本当に出来上がってみないと分かんないんですけどもあのすごいのができると思います。We were first, you know, introduced to the plan、uh, regarding this、uh, project. My first feeling is that it's kind of marvelous project because of three points. Number one, you know, it's kind of collaboration of、uh, very prominent artist of Mr. Yam,、uh, Mr. Amano and David Newman as the music. And the second, you know,、uh, this will be kind of a combination of、uh, technology with art. Technology, you know, include.、Uh, 2D or 3D technology, of course. And the third point is that you know, this brings me, or this brings BS24 kind of you know, collaboration with uh, uh, LA Philharmonic as well as、uh, Sapeka Solonen. And since this is kind of a live event, those kind of you know, various people's effort has to be devoted or have to be centered into one. You know, and、uh, Bell System 24 would like to be involved in, especially me as a producer for the film. The, at this point, it's a very interesting merge of, of two art forms, and, and we'll see. You know, it, it will be decided in the future whether this was the beginning of something completely new or whether this just was a one off kind of、um, attempt. We'll see. これはデビッド・ニューマンと映画音楽の巨匠と言われた彼の父との思い出の写真そしてこのスタジオが父アルフレッド・ニューマンを記念して20世紀フォックスの中に建てられている。ライブパフォーマンスの後映画「ワン・サウザンド・ワン・ナイツ」制作のためにサウンドトラックとして改めてロサンゼルスフィル114名の編成で録音が行われた。<音楽>